All right, I'm going to give a grand tour of our favela flat that we're in. This is the living room area. Got a nice hammock. Got a mess. Sure, we eat breakfast. This is out the window the view we have. This is the kitchen. Got our little stove here. Got our wash machine. It's been a while since we've done laundry. This is from Christ the Redeemer hike. And probably a few other and hikes. Probably a few others. We didn't have very good places to wash clothes. This is the bathroom. Not bad. Oh, not so good. And the bedroom, pretty basic. This is out the window. It's kind of in between all the units. A little crazy. Kind of a weird area there. We'll go up to the roof. I'm not going to go out and tape because I don't want to make any traffic Conte is mad by accidentally taking the wrong people. <laughs> we got big guns. Yeah. So, but I'll go to the roof. Come up those stairs. 360 stairs to get up here. Somebody's been cleaning up here. There's our view. Pretty good view, actually. Oh, cool. Sorry if I'm a little shaky today. Got some different coffee. And it's a little more powerful than I thought it was. So it's a pretty strong cup. So I have a little bit of a caffeine shake going on, I think. But yeah, cool view. This is the building itself. A little on the crude side. Stands though, right? Ooh. I got my flip-flops stolen, so I'm walking around barefoot. It's all wet up here, so it's kind of gross. Definitely need to wipe my feet off before I go back in the apartment. Still going. Clean socks! Yay! Woo! Not as good as clean underwear, but close. Oh, I have underwear too. I'm gonna show outside here again. There are people walking around and 
just gotta be careful what you're filming around here. So there's all the crazy wiring, crazy plumbing down there you can see. It's uh, a little wild, just kinda run it wherever. It's our internet line. Definitely a different experience. It's the power distribution system. You might want to say that again. I had it out the window. Oh, so the food is fantastic. Yeah, it's like a street food paradise. It is. We had two whole meals for less than 10 bucks. Yeah. We had a whole chicken and potatoes and sausage for eight dollars and it fed both of us twice. twice actually but it was really good they cooked the chicken over top the potatoes and, and sausage into it oh, yeah so they mix the sausage in with the potatoes and then put it in a big pan underneath the chickens while they roast and all the drippings go in there it was good very so good. good and it's right down the road yeah we might get it again but there's so much good food that it's hard to have it all twice. We haven't even made it through all the street food and we've been eating it like crazy. So yeah. there's a lot of variety. And there's a lot of paying by the kilogram type of food so you get to try a lot of different things. So yeah, that's cool. kind of fun. Kind of like a buffet, but you have to pay by the kilogram. Yeah. I Pretty think fun. we both ate fully, fully satisfied and it was, how much was it? 15? Yeah, it was 15. 15? Yeah. Not too so. bad. A little more expensive than favela food, but pretty good too. Not as good as favela food though. No, I've been not. pretty impressed with both of those meals. So. Yeah. City's definitely got a, a bit of a dodgy side to it, but it's pretty cool at the same time. We've been walking around at night, to be honest, I haven't felt really threatened. Yeah, it's kind of more of the situations you put yourself in. Yeah. Like can't leave anything. Keep on losing clothes. <laughs> yeah, you can't leave anything on the beach, even though you don't think somebody might want a t-shirt. They do. They do. I think they grab it just because they can. I, don't I know. had a whole outfit stolen, so I went out and bought a new one. Yeah, this like is three bucks. Colleen's well, new pants. She's proud of these pants. They're so comfortable. And they were only like three dollars. Yep. So it's not bad. Good stuff. They'll steal your clothes, but at least you can buy cheap clothes and to replace it. And your flip flops. Which those are a nice pair of flip flops. So I might have to buy some Javianas to replace them, I guess. But it's cool, all these green areas, they actually have trails and stuff you can go on. Again, it's a little bit dodgy because you might get robbed, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> if this city didn't have the robbery aspect, it would be like the best place to ever visit because you just could run around. It's super cool. It's kind of a di different atmosphere. Tons of cool hikes all through the city. You see little tiny monkeys and stuff running through the trees. It's pretty neat. Beautiful city. But they need to get their crime under control a little bit probably. But I guess it adds another weird little element to it. Yeah. But it does kind of suck that you have to worry. You can't take anything with you. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Bye, say bye. Bye.